All right, hey everybody. Um, this is Chris Frizzy Ten, and I, uh, I noticed that a lot of the tutorials on YouTube are very uh, algorithm oriented, and uh, the way I learned to solve the cube is actually relatively intuitive. Um, and I know that a lot of guys that I talk to have a hard time with the algorithms because they don't want to memorize everything, they just want to be able to solve it. So, in this video, I'm going to kind of teach you guys how I learned to solve this cube. And um, there will only be really three algorithms that you'll need to know. Um, and one of them is only four moves. And the rest are like maybe eight, I think. Six or eight. So, they're relatively short. And you can kind of, once you feel how the algorithm, what it feels like, um, it'll be a lot easier for you to remember it, um, and that's basically how I remember my algorithms. I don't really know any notation or anything, um, so I'm going to do my best to explain um, the movements uh, in such a way that you can understand them relatively easily. So I've got to scramble this cube up, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I've got my scrambled cube. Um, I'm going to be re referring to things um, in certain ways pretty simple um, this piece here center uh, you can't change where they are like you can do this but it doesn't change where they are relative to the core because they're attached this is an edge this is an edge the edges have two colors this is a corner corners have three colors um, the way I'm going to teach you the first layer um, is going to help you if you ever decide to get into speed cubing. Um, it's going to give you a good foundation for that. The idea here is to make a cross, but the important part is to make a cross such that these edge pieces line up with the centers on the middle layer. And like you can see this edge piece is correct. So you want to get all four edge pieces like that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some the easy cases and of course I get the annoying cases. Okay, so the first really easy case is when you have a piece up on the top layer and it's connected to the uh, same color and you can spin this top layer around without affecting this bottom layer here. So if you have a you know, edge with white facing up find where the uh, other color matches the center and then you just rotate that face twice and your piece will be in place. Um, same here, sort of. You have this blue-white piece and it's connected but it's in the middle layer. So all you have to do here, since you're not going to affect anything by doing this, just turn this down into place and you have this blue orange or, I'm sorry blue white piece in place this is the same the same thing as if you have the blue white piece up here it's just it's one block or one turn down so you just turn that in place um, the annoying case is when you have either the white the opposite the color of this on top or you have it in the slot such that the piece, the colors are not touching each other. Um, this is not really hard to fix, it's just annoying. Um, the way I do it is I turn the top face away and then I bring this piece down, connect it to the center, rotate that down into place, and then rotate that face back. So now you can see I have the cross and all the colors match. Now the next thing to do is to get the corners. And again, this is very intuitive, at least I think so. Um, sorry, I'm going to flip the cube over. Um, but it's a lot easier to do the corner method, the corners with the cube flipped over in this way. Um, this corner is already in place. You can tell because you have white matches here, blue matches here, and the orange matches here. Um, so what you want to do is assuming, well actually we'll just do this one. Um, this piece right here is in the bottom with white not facing downward. This is the easiest case other than it being in place. So what you want to do is you want to take a look at this piece. You have a white, blue, red. 
and you want to find the white, blue, red corner, and it's right here. Now you want to twist the bottom face around so that the blue, white, red corner is underneath its slot. Now, what you'll want to look for is the white face. Whatever face, whatever face, or whatever way the white is facing um, is going to dictate how you do this algorithm. So in this case, the white is facing on the red side, um, and even if it was facing on the blue side, it'll be the same basic idea. You take the bottom face and you turn it away from the color on the other side. So this color is blue, so we want to turn it away from the blue, so we turn it down there. Then we turn that blue face down, and then we turn the bottom face back. And you can see that it connected this corner with this edge piece. And then when we move that back up, the corner is in its place. So, we have two corners down. Um, the next thing that can happen is if you have the piece, but the white is on the bottom. Um, now this is a little bit more difficult, but not terribly difficult. Um, you want to get the piece, if the white's facing down, you want to get the piece underneath an empty slot, and you want to turn down either face. You could do it either way. I'm going to do it this way because I like it. it it's, it's more comfortable for me. And then you want to turn the bottom face twice in any direction so that this piece is out of the way of this slice. And then you can bring the slice back up and there's no, the corner's not here, the corner is down here, but the white is facing out and this is a case we already know. So we turn it away from the green face, bring that green face down, bring the piece back in and up. So now we have that. Now the last case is when we have the piece in its slot, but it's not oriented correctly. To fix this, we bring down, again, either face will do. I'm going to bring down the right face because it's more comfortable for me. So, now that I've brought that down, this piece is in the bottom layer. I like to turn it to the right. Actually, you have to turn it to the right. You have to turn it, in this case, you need to turn it to the right. In this case, you'll need to turn it to the right as well. Um, you just want to make to figure out where this white piece will be facing out when you turn it away. So, again, in this case, when you turn it to the right and you bring this part up, the white is facing out. In this case, when you bring it down and you turn it right, the white is facing out and it's there. So now that we have this in the bottom layer, we can do the same move that we already know. Move it away from the green, bring the green down, push it back in, and then up. So now, if you know these steps, you should be able to solve the entire top face without much trouble.